Yo, so I'm just over here having the time of my life, cooking up yet another zero users per month SaaS, right? And all of a sudden I realized the core functionality, one of the most important things in the SaaS I'm cooking requires access to an API that costs $5,000 per month. So I'm like, wow, should I just take my SaaS idea and put it in the trash can? And no, because it turns out there's one library that does exactly this for free to save the day. Let's talk about it. Okay, so the core functionality I was talking about in the intro is this. Uh, so basically, it's like a testimonial management platform SaaS that I'm building. It's, I think, a really cool idea, nothing new, right? And the idea is you can import a tweet from anyone. So let's head over to Twitter. I'm going to choose this one where somebody compared me to this like Toy Story character and it got like 650. 50 upvotes like that is not funny i do not look anything like this guy please agree with me in the comments anyways what you can do is basically take the id of this tweet it's gonna be like these super long number string up here or you can just grab the entire url i guess and paste it in here to import that tweet right and once we press enter by the way i stole this ui from somewhere else i didn't do this myself you can just import the tweet fetch the data and put it in your database right that's the idea but there's a really really big problem how do you do this if the api you need to do this costs 5000 US dollars per month. It is the most unusable, the most expensive API I've ever seen. Dude, it's the Twitter API. A free API access doesn't even allow you to make any read requests. And for this video, I subscribed. I paid them like $100 per month for the basic tier to show you what this does. And the thing is, even if you pay that, which is absolutely comical, right? Even if you pay $100 per month, you can retrieve up to 10,000 posts per month, which is not a lot because this is for your entire user base. And there's a rate limit on this. And the rate limit let me tell you it's absolutely comical okay so you can do 10,000 posts per month but for each 15 minutes that pass in real life how many requests can you do well 15 Th that's it you can do one request to the twitter api per minute for your entire user base so if you want any kind of scalability then you have to pay up with five thousand dollars per month and the question is who should pay for those five thousand dollars is it me is it my users well no i don't have any there are no users here man so i need a cheap ass alternative and there is one luckily and that alternative is called react tweet and don't be fooled by the name this can definitely work outside of react this is not react specific some utilities in here are but the core api that allows you to fetch tweets for free no rate limit no $5,000 per month subscription. It works just out of the box in React Tweet. And how they do this is super clever. That's what I want to make this video about because I think you're going to really enjoy how this works under the hood. So the basic idea is getting any kind of data from Twitter as long as you're not using their own API is super difficult. You can't get this data without being logged in. And if you're logged in and then web scrape, then you're against terms of service and you might just get banned for it. It's super difficult. And how React Tweet reverse engineered the Twitter API to make this happen is extremely clever. In here, there's a function called fetch tweet. It all starts with this. It's the Twitter syndication API. And we're not going to get too specific to Twitter, right? Because you don't care. I don't care. It's not that important. So let's pretend we have an empty request that we're making here on the right hand side. The first thing we want to do is make a request to this API right here, which is the Twitter embedding API. It's a public facing API that everybody can use to get embeddings from Twitter. If you wanted to put a tweet on your website, right? We're going to go to slash and you can see that a bit further down here, it's going to be slash tweet dash result. So the underlying API that also Twitter uses. And then we append only three things to this request. The first one is the ID of the tweet that we want to fetch without the official Twitter API. We just we just skip that part, right? We can just append the ID as a query parameter. So I'm just going to insert the tweet ID right here. Next up is just the language. We can set that to English. And then the last param, super clever. How they did this is something called a token. And you would assume that this is the API token that authenticates you against the Twitter API, right? Well, it's not. The token is just generated based on the tweet ID like this. We basically do some math stuff. Don't ask me what this does. But as long as we just copy this function, which is just like three lines of code, paste it in our browser and remove all the TypeScript stuff, that's now something we can call. We can now call the get token, paste in the tweet ID and hit enter. That's gonna run our function and give us the token that we need to get the actual data from the Twitter API without being authenticated. And if we now hit the arrow, that's gonna actually make the request. Let's go into full screen. Wow. 
there we have it. The like count of the tweet, the text, how much text is in the tweet, and all the information, the links, the tweet content, and so on, without being authenticated against the official Twitter API. And much more importantly, dude, without paying 5k a month for this. That's how it's possible to just paste something in here, hit enter, get the actual tweet content, and then put it in your database, man. And I think this is really, really cool. And that's the story of how I was able to continue my zero user per month SaaS and nobody really cared other than me and it's just the happy ending, right? No, not really. It's an unofficial API. It can break at any time, but for now it works, which I think is pretty cool. And I'm just having fun uh, programming the SaaS and it's just nice. Um, basically, I just wanted to tell you about it. Uh, let me know what you think. If this is some useful library for you, I think it's pretty neat. But of course, the Twitter API is kind of more niche. Not everybody needs it. And But if you do, I really hope you keep this video in mind and enjoy it. That's it for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a good one. Until then, and bye-bye.